guys this is Hafiz today we're going to talk about uh, uh, the 1099 how can we issue the 1099 to the owner operators or the drivers uh, as uh, they are not the, the employees of the company so we can uh, issue them 1099 so all you have to do is just go to the Google and uh, just download uh, uh, type in the Google uh, download uh, 1099 2020 forms and then look for the IRS uh, website which you can see there's so many links but you only follow the irs.gov and then uh, click on that link so as soon as you click on that link you can see it can directly download that form for you and uh, you can open that with any app you can download it with the uh, uh, XODO that's the app that you can edit but uh, if you have uh, any other app, you can uh, use that and uh, you should have no problem with that. As you can see, it uh, is showing that I have a few uh, forms attached to it. Uh, I'm just going to explain them to you slowly and all those instructions you can read them. If you go to the very first page of uh, this form, you can read all the instructions uh, for this page, the very first one says that you cannot make a copy of the red uh, form so this one is just for the educational purpose only so you cannot make a copy of it and you cannot use this to send to the IRS because it's gonna be a fine so don't use this copy and uh, this one is just for educational purpose only so copy one is for state tax department from the company whoever is issuing it so it's from you as a uh, company so copy B for reception and uh, the the person who is working with you you have to send this copy to them and the instructions uh, for the person who is working with you you can read it there and the copy two is uh, for the state that you have to give it to the person whoever is working with you and uh, copy C is for pair which is uh, you as a company or as a employer so it have all the instructions that you need to know before you fill up this form and we're going to go through the details how we're gonna fill up this form you can simply call your accountant and tell them how much 1099 you need to give it to the people or the company working with you and they can uh, issue the 1099 and they're gonna charge you like 15 to 20 bucks for each 1099 so we're gonna save that money and uh, every single form have the same information and uh, all you have to do is just fill up uh, your company and uh, uh, other company information and put the amount in there so in the very first column as you can see we're just gonna put our company name and uh, uh, the tax ID on the second uh, column and the third column uh, we're gonna put this tax ID or we're gonna put the social security for the person whoever is uh, working with us as an independent contractor and uh, we're gonna put their name in the next column their address and city state all that and uh, as you can see on the income side uh, we're gonna put uh, only in the other income uh, section we're just gonna put their uh, total income in there we don't have to put any other income rent royalties um, any other uh, tax uh, we're not holding it and uh, as you can see all those columns we don't have to uh, put anything in there and leave it blank so all other columns you can go through them and uh, read all the details and uh, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna need uh, any of those uh, if you're holding any tax or anything then you have to put in there so in this case as a truck driver 1099 we don't have to fill up any of the other information and the same information that you fill up in this form uh, you have to fill up the same information uh, on the other forms that are attached to uh, the page four and five and you can read uh, those details whatever I told you is simply uh, the same thing over there and uh, if I miss anything you can uh, uh, read that so this copy is uh, it goes to the state that uh, uh, 
whoever is getting the 1099 from you they have to send this copy to the state and every state is different so some states don't require it some states they require it so it's on the the person whoever is taking the 1099 they have to send this copy to uh, the state so this copy is for the peer that's uh, gonna be in your file that you have to give it to the uh, accountant and uh, same exact information you're gonna fill up in all those columns that we did in the first form so uh, basically you can do that from your phone and uh, you don't have to uh, go into the computer and do all that and you can just send this copy to the uh, uh, reception and uh, uh, make a 1099 out of your phone and uh, all these details will go to the accountant and they will enter into your tax return and report it to the IRS so the reason why we doing it um, uh, before accounted is sometimes people they need the 1099 and they need to file taxes in the uh, beginning of the year before you have a time to go uh, file your tax return so once you complete this form you can just uh, take a screenshot and send it to the person whoever asked for that and uh, keep a copy for yourself in your phone or in your computer so the next form that you're gonna need is the 1096 and you can download it from the Google from the same website irs.gov and if you search it you can download it directly it's the same uh, procedure for any years 1099 you just search it and you can find a copy so the 1096 uh, is basically uh, like a cover sheet so whatever uh, 1099s you are issuing for the current year uh, you can fill up on the 1096 form uh, the total amount and the number of 1099s that you are issuing so you just uh, select the 1099 miscellaneous and then uh, number of 1099s and uh, enter the total amount in there so uh, this form actually uh, in the red is the same uh, procedure for this one you don't make a copy of it you need original to send it to the IRS and uh, you don't have to do this uh, yourself uh, your accountant can do that if you want to do it yourself it's up to you you get a form and uh, fill up all these 1099 and 1096 send it to the IRS and then later on you can file your own taxes and uh, report all the expenses and income uh, for the current year so same details you put the filer name which is your company and the person uh, uh, name whoever is the owner of the company the phone number and the total number of forms that you're sending and then uh, the total uh, income that you are issuing under 1099 and uh, also you select this column 1099 miscellaneous uh, column number 71 and you can read all those details from there so I hope this video helped you guys and save you guys some money and uh, this is not the uh, financial advice uh, just for the education purpose if it worked for you good if not then you can contact your uh, accountant and get some details thank you so much guys and uh, please subscribe the channel like the video share with your friends and let me know if I made any mistake in there. Thank you so much.